and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at uh, Power Rangers 1 Goni Montez uh, variant uh, which is 1 to every uh, 500 so for uh, every batch sent to one shop they get one of these apparently and that's how um, I kind of uh, devised the fraction so what I just wanted to talk about really quickly is is this worth the money now when this first came out, um, I, I honestly, I did look at it and I thought, I, I kind of really like it. Um, however, it, um, for, for here in the UK, in Forbidden Planet, this was £250. In fact, they've still got them on sale there. And I looked at some of the other comic shops, I can't remember which ones, but they were probably going for a bit more. So Forbidden Planet seemed to be the most reasonable out of all of them, but they were going between 300 to 400 um, based on how rare they were and the ratio of them now do I think it's worth that amount of money um, at no no um, I, I would struggle to justify spending 250 quid on a variant cover no matter how good it is or how rare it is so from my perspective no, and uh, looking at eBay now, they either go between uh, 90 quid. Um, so, and that's buying it from the US, by the way. I've got to be um, open and honest. That's the US. If you if you buy it from the US, and I don't know what they set it for over there. There's probably a lot more comic stores, so perhaps not as rare as over here in the UK. But uh, between 90 quid and uh, the one that I saw over here, and there was only one compared to if you're looking overseas. There's a lot more in America than here in the UK. The one that I saw for from the UK was 180, which is uh, still cheaper than Forbidden Planet. So in my mind, um, if you went out and brought this, um, A, because you, you're a variant collector, and, and B, because you wanted this cover because it looks really nice, um, my, my suggestion is you can't buy this with the plan to sell short term because people aren't going to pay that amount of money um, short term. So I think in, in the grand scheme of things, you've got to be looking at a long plan here. You've got to be looking at keeping this for a good 10 years perhaps. So it's, it's a real investment. And B, you've got to be thinking about um, sending it off to uh, CGC. I think it's CGC. And getting it graded and, and try and get that that 9.8 that's what you want to achieve out of all of it the 9.8 because then you're you, you're gonna be well off um, m me myself personally um I, I was looking at it and I was actually looking at the UK one for a very long time thinking I could actually afford that um, the 180 um however the the US guy he just put a, an offer off 90 quid um don't get me wrong there was some shipping involved but even so we, i wasn't talking much shipping compared to some of the things that i brought from the us in, in the last year where shipping and import fees and it soon adds up i got a very good deal on this so this is literally my 100 quid bargain um so and that's the only reason i but i wouldn't have brought it any more than i think that it's so like i said very lucky i kept an eye out but the the cover itself is a very beautiful cover. I mean, you've got it, it's a reminiscent of the the original Z, the issue zeros um, from Boom Studios. Now, for from my perspective, I would, and, and I'm not sure why they've not jumped on this. If they released individuals with this, and eventually this without the helmet, whoever the green dude is, which I think gets issue four or something like that. Um, I think people would do that because. A lot of people, I, I've got all the issue zeros apart from Armored Red. Um, but I like how they're doing this where they've got the face in it as well. Um, I think it looks a, a little bit nicer. And this is some real... Montez is, is a legend in terms of variant covers. Um, and he did the original series. Now if he does this with the face, that's a brilliant cover. It doesn't even have to be just a helmet bit and the, the Zord in, in the... The visor, etc. I, I feel like they could. I'm hoping that they, they're not missing a trick here and there. They're, they're speaking to Montez and saying, Hey, we want you doing 
this as, as an issue variant because we can collect it because it will look amazing. And that's where um, this is really nice as, um, sorry, I'm just uh, opening it off screen. I should have done this in advance. Um, I feel like that would definitely be a variant to sell. I mean, at the moment we got, we got Peach um, delivering uh, Virgin's, Virgin covers and um, just the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The Virgin covers and the Mighty Morphin covers with um, the White Ranger. We've got uh, Treat, or maybe Aisha actually coming out on one of them as well. And um, I, I like them. I think they're really beautiful. So I'm definitely going to grab them. But I would love to see this. Definitely love to see this. Um, I thought it was meant to be a wrap around, so I'll just bring it in for a little closer look. Obviously being very careful, because I don't want to damage my one. Um, I was hoping on the back it would be like a, a wrap around, but it's not really. It's just the same, just with that nice little little cover on there. So um, short term, this is not a, a comic you buy for short term turnaround. It's not going to work. You have to buy it for long term. You have to invest in it. And you're certainly going to have to send it off to CGC to get it graded. Um, so short term, no. Long term, yes. And and you'll probably see a return on that as an investment. Um, that's if you're doing it for, for that. I mean, me personally, I, I buy variants. Yes, in terms of investments, there are investments for, for perhaps when I'm old, gray, and dead and buried. And my family can sell off my, my uh, I probably call it crap. And um, hopefully that will return to them at some point. Or maybe at some point I'll get old and gray and think, you know what? If I sell my stuff, I'm, I'm going to have a nice retirement. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I mean, I've, I've heard stories of people that, that had like the original uh, X-Men stories. And don't get me wrong, it's a bit different now. There are probably more comics released now than back then. But somebody sold their Silver Age and got, got their mortgage with that, for, you know. So... There are ways to invest. I don't think comics are a way to invest like they used to be, because there's a lot more of them. But but some or some super rare um, certainly do deliver well. I've always found Power Rangers um, bit hit miss because there is quite a, a variant base, and sometimes I bought variants and they've sold well. Sometimes I you know with that plan, or sometimes I brought them and they've not sold well. And sometimes I'll, I'll play the, the waiting game. I'll keep this for a long-term investment. And maybe, like I said, 10 years, I'll think, you know what? I don't need this anymore. It doesn't have to be part of my collection. I can live without it. Usually, I, I have to really talk myself out of, you know, into selling something and, and not selling something. But um, on that, it's, it's a beautiful cover. Only get it if you can get it reasonable um, or... You're buying it and you don't mind because A, you've got the money in and B, you're, you're thinking long-term investment here. So tell me what you think about this cover. Uh, have you invested in this cover or have you bought it just for your collection? Let me know what, what, you, what you do. I mean, some people buy two, um, one for their own collection, one for that that delivering into that, that future plan of theirs. Um, so... Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. My page is Smurd P. Follow me on Twitter at Smurd P. I have no idea what I'm doing. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.